Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel. For all of my Aries placements, cross watchers, you are welcome. All right, join us if this message resonates with you. Special thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes to the channel. Thank you for your donations. It's not required, but it's greatly appreciated. To those of you who um, share my readings and book personal readings, thank you so very much. I am still running the sale as far as all candles and readings are on sale, okay, at this time. I'm going to run it a few more days, so go ahead and take advantage um, of what you haven't already gotten okay and and let's get into the reading all right you read the title so we're going to get right into it we're going to see what messages come out if you need to contact me book readings or shop the website um, well the website you book readings and um, shop products it's all on, on the same website which is www.ariestheemperor.com it's all down below okay as well as my email address and my second channel for all 12 zodiac signs kiss my cosmo all right so show some love show some love let's jump into the reading let's see what comes out Take in mind, y'all it, it may may or may not resonate with everyone all right so do not force the reading place the gender roles where they need to be for you this is energy energy is all fluid and let's just do a quick send off a rip to those of you who received the last style of this candle here this glass i am discontinuing it so i have a few left um I, or this may be the last one this is a clarity i'm gonna light it for this reading and this is me asking for clarity on behalf of every last one of you all um, that are a part of this collective. I, I, I am asking for clarity um, from this day going forward in your everyday God-given, God-willing life. That you see people who for who they are. You see life for what it is. You appreciate it accordingly. And we're going to light it. Let's go ahead. And one more thing, you know, you appreciate life accordingly. Um, but you live from within. Everything starts from within. That's where your clarity begins, knowing you. All right, cheers. Cheers. Sorry, I don't know why I felt compelled to do that. Um, but we all need clarity. You can never have enough of it, especially in this day and age. And that's why it's important, I feel like, for some of you to get out what you have inside of you and to understand yourself, really, um, because the world is missing out on something that you have to offer. I feel like some of you could, could give people clarity out there clarity that maybe you weren't able to get for yourself once upon a time here um but i feel like it's it's, it's either something or calling on your name to where you are able to help people through situations and, and let them get the clarity so they can get the god-given rest that they deserve here to move on in peace and not feel like you gotta always watch your sh watch over your shoulder you know and and watch the people around you but let's get into it because it's one thing like let me just say something just as simple as this you know, you could just be honestly good at something, right? It doesn't take you much to to figure out something or, you know, you may accidentally outshine the master. What do they say? That's one of the laws of rule number one, never outshine the master or something like that. Well, you might be outshining the master, just for example, right? And it's, it's just a, a thing of you being punished for doing that. You know, and I, a lot of y'all, you you dim yourselves down around people who are just mediocre. Let's just call a spade a spade. Everybody is is not meant to be, or everybody is not chosen, or everybody is not in the energy to where they are going to have such a public impact is, is what I'm going to say. 
You know, some people are, are meant to have impact in different ways, quieter ways and, in and, and, um, d- different, my mind is going blank and I'm asking for clarity, but people are, um, <laughs> People have different purposes on this planet here is what I'm trying to say. And um, I feel like you are one who um, sometimes feels afraid to share your purpose or your dreams or what you're really made of, what you can really do, because you're afraid of how people are going to look at you. They may start treating you differently. You know what I mean? So some of y'all probably probably keep a lot of your bri- like bright ideas um, or just things that you have that you're really talented in you may do in your 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 private time or your free time here um it's just things that people are going to look at you and be like and and think you're an alien or something because it's like how did you figure that out how are you creating that you know where are you getting these ideas from who were you watching you know who did you get it from right because everybody gets something from somebody so you know, you're somebody that gets inspiration, but it's more so you create from within, you know, what you feel in your heart of hearts or through your emotions, um, or just in general, it's, it's just something uh, about the way that you're able to connect with something. And then an idea pulls from this one and pulls from that one. And voila, you created a masterpiece, you know, and, and it, it, it I just, I'm getting a feeling here. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it's a, a feeling of you having haters or enemies, but you turning them into fans because of this. Secret fans is what it's giving here. Queen of Cups, you know, all because you have something so strong that pulls from the moon literally here as she's sitting. Um, it looks like a lake or an ocean or some sort here, you know, um, the moon controls the waves in the ocean here, you know, so that's something very powerful. She could be connecting with the water here. And some of you guys might like to sit at the water or connect with the water, or um, you may be traveling to the beach here coming up soon here, or um, you like to go out and, and look at the moon here. You pay attention to the different moon phases. Right now we are um, still moon in Virgo at this time here. So um, some of you guys could be healers as well or you could be water is it water scribers um water scrobes where you're able to read through the water here or you can um it's something about vibrations in the water frequency um you may use water for your healing or or for your practice your ritual or some this may have something to do with florida water i'm getting as well here okay you could be in florida um i feel like but overall you eight of cups you are continuously searching for something here continuously searching you know and and it will be like that until you get to the promised land here and you are very much so headed you know to higher ground um, which means um, higher earth um, upgrades for you higher standards better living you know this is you um, changing your lifestyle and and not settling um, especially when you know, you know, this is not the end for you. A lot of y'all, you could be feeling like this is just the beginning for you. Okay. And people don't stand a chance against somebody that don't give up and somebody that's always working their brain and, and got an idea and somebody that feels like they're, they're being led and guided here. You know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta scratch that itch, you know, but just be responsible while you're going out and doing that. All right. And I see you doing that, you know, but like I said here, jealousy comes in all forms here you know this could be you separating and not feeling like you align with people anymore here certain people certain family members because this is cancer energy and that um rules your family though your domestic or the domestic side of you king of wands some of you could be isolating yourself here um, or some of you guys could be getting some unwanted attention here as well here. Or you're just somebody who um, has the power to command people's respect um, to for people to follow you. But you're more so you'll take the quiet life. You know, you'll take the quiet side of things. 
Um, you'll take the background, you know, but I'm still getting pulling strings. Like you're still the voice of something here. And I feel like that may be like a hard pill for people to swallow as well here. You may feel isolated, like I said here, and, and they be saying that it's lonely at the top, but I also heard it's, it's only so lonely because it's so many followers at the bottom here. You know, that's some very powerful words there. So you just gotta, uh, just gotta, put it in per to, in perspective you're like most people do not want to use their brains most people do not want to get up and physically have to create something when they can easily take something you already created and, and remix it and run out there to the world like it's theirs you know what i'm saying this is this type of energy and these type of people that maybe you have been around or or maybe soon to following you around you know what I mean here, but it's something intimidating about that because it's just like, I hate to say it, you know, they, it's, it's just like saying a generation before you is getting dumber versus, um, trying to you know, not only be like you, but be better than you, you know, in a sense here is, is what I tell people to do, you know, don't be like me, be better than me here. And that means take something that maybe you have learned and go out there and apply it to something that is already inside of you waiting to be put out there. If you just listen to yourself, sometimes it'll tell you yourself will tell you all you need to know, all you will feel, all you need to feel. And that's what that King of Wands energy is being able to sit there with or without the crowd. But guess what? The crowd's still going to follow. And that's you. They still a fan, whether they hating on you or not, because King of Wands is Leo energy. And that's the sign that people love to hate. They'll go up against any and everybody. You push the wrong damn button. Ooh. Full card, Aries energy. <laughs> yeah, push the wrong button. They might turn into an Aries, right? Um, but no, we got your energy out here. And, and this is the full card. Okay. I, I'm getting an energy. I don't know why it's, I'm getting like a fool in love. You could have someone that is, and maybe you don't even realize this, um, or this could be more than one person here, or this it's an energy of, it's a fan, like somebody who is um, over the hills for you, um, they have a, a, a warm spot for you. Um, you are like a breath of fresh air to them. Um, like they like your, your spirit. Um, is, is, or this is an energy of, of, of what somebody, how somebody makes you feel. But I really feel like this is your effect on someone else or somebody's else. And like I said earlier, it's the energy of whether they hate you or whether they ride with you, they're still following you right off the cliff, right? You got a fan club? Let me find out. Can I join? <laughs> I mean, look, page of swords, the hair of font. Do you have a fan club or not, Aries? Answer the damn question. Some of y'all haven't experienced in a glow up because the king of wands is attractive as well. This could be muscles or just a nice build or ladies, you could just be mm -mm, boom, ping, pow in all the right places. You know what I mean? Take it how it resonates. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But the king of wands, one thing about it is they like what they see. You know, and, and they could be, you could, they could feel a way about you. Some people could hate on you because of the way you look, your facial features, you know, your body, your hair, the attention that you get. They may think that you have your way with things or you're about to. Yeah, you're going to have your way. But it's, it's not in any page of swords, um, taking advantage of any type of situation here, but 
it's definitely high vibe energy but whatever this is page of swords energy it's, it's like someone studying you and they may be trying to imagine or figure out a way to get in your energy or this is like someone trying to come up with a plan to spiritually somehow link up with you, make it a reality. They're tired of watching. Someone could be watching your work performance. And someone could be studying you creatively as well. Seven of Wands. Lovers is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. You know, this energy is giving like king of the hill. You know, it's giving you getting your opportunity to sit on the couch um, and, and tell a little bit about your story here. It's, it's, it's giving like you went up against Goliath. Because like, look at her with this bow and arrow like ready. She don't have a stone, but she damn sure got something that's going to cut right through you. And, and, and that's how you're coming. You know, there is no time. If you want to be on top, if, if you have a said certain goal that you're trying to achieve, worrying, worrying about other people's projections, especially when they do not contribute to what you are investing your time, money, and energy into, then you're not going to be successful. Like this is Ali energy, like Thriller in Manila. Like when he fought George Foreman. Was that George Foreman he fought? Okay. That's like you know you're the best. Yeah. Like don't take this personal. But I'm, I'm finna have to go ahead and take you out. I belong here. Just like everybody else. But I actually belong here. There's my name over there. It says Aries on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm finna go over here and, and, and Aries my ass off. You know what I'm saying? That's the king of pentacles. Walking through the door, I'm the king. Money bag, money bag. Prosperity, prosperity. Abundance, abundance. I'm here. Like, look at this. It's like, and, and this is it's a goat or a ram. But it's, if you see, this is Taurus energy. Grounded. He's a part, like he's sinking into the ground. It's giving me energy of, of you, Aries, being firmly planted because Taurus comes after you. But you're going to have to step on toes. And, and that comes with speaking the truth. You hurt egos. You know, you, you make people feel the shame that they've been running from. But it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the enemies to, to, to secret fans comes from. Because this is just you out here literally doing what you're, what you're supposed to. Not everybody can walk off this cliff and, and still be okay and successful after this. 
Everybody's not equipped, but you are. Even if you was to tell your story flat out the way it is, the way it happened, gave them a roadmap, instructions, a car to drive, a cell phone to GPS it, they still wouldn't be able to, to recreate it. You still going to be sitting on the top of the hill, king of the hill, thriller in Manila, thriller Michael Jackson. You know, it's, it's the energy of you sitting in the class and, and the teacher is, is going around the room saying, introduce yourself. And then they get to you, Aries. While you sitting back there, the king of pentacles, the full card. You know, don't let this flower fool you. I done been there, done that, and I'm still doing it. That's the energy you giving out. All of these enemies, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies trying to drain me of this energy, you. But like I said, they secret fans, because why wouldn't they be? They damn sure ain't competition. Let's clear that up. Give me a few more spirit and I'm going to close her out. Out. do you hear me sun card leo energy you better walk with your chest out and your head held high don't bow your head your crown might fall off five of pentacles that's what they want you to do bow your head so that it falls off they can pick it up and put it on a damn head but no soon as they do some mess like that they're gonna dry out burn up like the wicked witch of the west you know damn well this don't belong to you cross watcher and like i said you know just shame on anybody who has something to say about you trying to live like they live in you know people be so ridiculous like the, the way that they think it's this is this for everybody you know what I'm saying? And you be out there, actually in them streets, in nature. Where the real magic is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't even want to be a part of this 3D, this energy, this matrix. And I don't blame you. I damn sure don't blame you. And some of y'all probably use escapism, you know, just to get through the day here. Pisces energy. We got the nine of pentacles. The hair of font. Taurus energy. Virgo energy is the nine of pentacles. And four of wands. Aries energy. This is success, I feel like, for you. You reaching the pinnacle. Whatever that is for you in this Hierophant, in this Four of Wands, it's freeing you. Nine of Pentacles. This woman is like, each one of these cards is like you purchasing land, um, you building a house, um, you just, I don't know, like taking, doing a retreat of some sort here, or just in general, starting a garden. I know it's almost... Um, Spring is coming up, the beginning of the year here. So these are things that are all in bloom for you here. New starts for you to begin or new foundations for you to start to build on. To start creating your story or, or start walking the path that is that of your, your personal life path, right? You know, reaching for your north node more. And in, 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 in being present in this, in this lifetime versus your past lifetime here you know there is nothing wrong with your soil it's just you just got to plant better seeds here and and that's what spirit is is passing out to you better seeds for you to sow and like i mentioned here your enemies don't these look like secret fans They're curious now. 
You know, you may know more than you come off. Or you're smarter than they realized. Or you're really on to something. Or just in general, you somebody to watch, to look out for, that's coming up or that's already up. They might, they feel like you may have been resurrected from the dead or something or like you're a clone of, or a clone or something like it's, it's, it's given the energy that you are coming back. I'm talking about so fierce that they whole family going to feel it. Putting people out their misery. You making people feel like they in poverty and hell they may be piss poor. No moral code. Reaching for low hanging fruit. You no, know, and and wishing the shoe was on the foot here. It only got, or it's only gonna get these energies cast out in their own li low vibrational way. Page of Swords, Aquarius energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, you're somebody to look out for. You somebody to watch. You damn sure may be somebody that they need to sit back and take note from and maybe appreciate a, just a little bit more. And maybe even try and understand a little bit more. But one thing's for sure, you have a right to be here and you have a right to express everything that spirit is putting on your heart and in your life for you to change for the better here while you in this physical form. So just know you being put on this earth spells out success. Everything else is a plus. Okay. I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I've got work to do. Everything you need is down below. Ciao.